I have a lot of white t-shirts and it's a bit of a problem. Do I think I need all of them? No. Um, do I think that some of them were just impulse purchases because of pandemic shopping? Yeah. But since I have them, I thought I would show you guys all the white t-shirts that I have. Some are lightweight, some are medium weight, some are a bit thicker. So I guess they kind of serve a little bit of a different purpose, but they all are slightly a different style. So hopefully you guys can find one that would be suitable for you. So the first one here is from Uniqlo. It's 100% cotton. It's fairly lightweight. I would say I'm wearing a nude cotton bra underneath, so you can't really see it. But if you're wearing a black bra you'd probably be able to this one was actually a hand-me-down from my friend and she told me that it's actually a kids Uniqlo t-shirt I think it's actually a boys let me validate it's Uniqlo kids but it doesn't say the size it says the height is for 145 to 155 centimeters and the chest is for 71 to 77 centimeters I don't think it was purchased in Canada or North America Uniqlo which is probably why it doesn't have the size on it but it fits me quite perfectly and honestly I probably could have not bought any of the white t-shirts that I have and just stuck with this one which is what I had for the past couple years the kid's size also fits me quite well because I'm petite and I would say this one is a pretty classic style. It's just regular, it's fitted. There have been a few times that I've accidentally thrown it in the dryer and it shrank a little bit, but after another wash and you know just pulling it out while it's damp, it comes back to its regular shape. This next shirt is also from Uniqlo, but this one is women's and it's a size medium. Even though I'm typically a size small, when it comes down to shirts that are a bit more fitted, I usually get a medium because then they fit my shoulders comfortably. They fit my shoulders comfortably since my shoulders are proportionately slightly wider than my body. So I just like the way that it fits. You can see that the seam on the side, you know, ends at my shoulder where it should. This one I would consider pretty heavy weight. It's quite thick. It's also 100% cotton you can tell that the collar is a lot thicker than the kids one but overall i'd say that the style and the fit and the cut is pretty much exactly the same it is slightly more roomy on the body because it's a women's t-shirt and not a kids t-shirt but again otherwise it's pretty much the same as the kids t-shirt except that it is a thicker weight this next one is more of a crop tee. I like it because it's not super cropped, so it kind of just meets where my jeans end and it doesn't show my stomach. This one is from Aritzia. It's the Wilfred Free brand and I also got a medium in this one. What I really like about this one is that the seams on the sleeve and the bottom are quite thick, which kind of just gives it a different style. The collar on this one is a bit lower than on the Uniqlo t-shirts. I do find that the higher collar on the Uniqlo t-shirts make them look a little bit more childish. So I really like the way that this one sits and just how it falls on my body. And this one is also 100% cotton. This next one is a slightly different take on your regular t-shirt. It's much more fitted. It's actually ribbed and it has a bit of a mock neck. This one is also from Aritzia. It's also Wilfred Free. It is 93% modal, whatever that is, and 7% elastane. All I know is that it's machine wash, so I'm down. It also has this seam down the middle of the back, which kind of just adds a little bit more to the design of the t-shirt. So this one's definitely a little bit more chic than your regular t-shirt and can probably level up your outfit a bit more. It is very stretchy, so it's very comfortable, and this one is also a size medium. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, these next two look very similar and I probably did not need to keep both of them, but I bought this one I'm gonna show you first, thought it met all of my requirements, so I kept it and then found the second one and was like, actually this one's better and I would have preferred this one. So now I have two that look very similar. These ones are also from Uniqlo. This one is a men's size extra small and it is very large. It actually did shrink a little bit in the wash, which I wanted, but I really like the style of this t-shirt because I was looking for a shirt that had really long sleeves that pretty much ended at my elbows. And I saw this one online and they showed it on a female as well and it looked like it was perfect. So this one's definitely a thick weight t-shirt. It has a pocket on the left side of the chest, which just gives a little something something. And it's also 100% cotton. 
because it's quite wide and long because that's just what the style is it does make it a lot bulkier to tuck in and I definitely would only be tucking this shirt in I do like the feel of the cotton though it feels like very good high quality that will last so I actually wish I bought this one first and kept only this one and not the last one because it has that same really long sleeve but because this one's actually a women's shirt I feel like the body is slightly slimmer which makes it a lot easier to tuck in it also has a bit of a mock neck which is really subtle but I really like it this one is a size small and it's just slightly shorter than the previous one it is also a hundred percent cotton and I would say it is also a thick weight maybe a bit on the medium weight side but definitely leaning towards thick and not thin although I prefer the style of this one it is not as soft of a cotton as the previous one so it does feel a little bit rough like obviously not unwearable but not the softest and the last one which is not a white t-shirt but comes in white and I had to show you because it's probably my favorite and I will probably end up buying it in white is this t-shirt that I'm wearing right here. So this one's from Oakenfort. It is 53% cotton, 42% modal, and 5% spandex. So it does have more of a stretch to it than the other ones. Not as stretchy as the mock neck shirt from Aritzia, but it has a good stretch to it and it is definitely by far the most comfortable. It's more of a lightweight t-shirt and I don't have the white one to show you yet, but I know just based on how thin the material is, it would be a little bit more see-through than some of the other ones that I've showed you. I'm wearing a size small and you can see where it ends on my shoulders is just really comfortable and I just really love the fit of it. I find that it's really relaxed but it's not too baggy and it's not too long or thick that makes it uncomfortable to tuck in. I just think it's a perfect relaxed fit and cut that makes it a really versatile t-shirt. In terms of softness, I will say that the women's Uniqlo crew cut t-shirt is really, really soft, probably just as soft, but it is 100% cotton. But I think just to have a really versatile t-shirt, I don't prefer that the collar on that one is high and that it's so thick. So if you're not looking to have a boatload of unnecessary white t-shirts like I do, I would definitely recommend getting the Oak and Fort one. It is so, so comfortable and it washes really well and I think it would just look the best with a variety of outfits. So if you're looking for the perfect white t-shirt for you, I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video.